Today I'm going to explain a bold and beautiful movie, which is truly a hidden gem, starring the stunning beauty Jessica Alba, who will entertain us throughout the film. So without wasting time, let's get started. Asian state known as Sarawak, in 1936, where we see Ebon tribe people in their local market. A boat full of passengers arrives at the dock, which includes a British government officer named John Truscott, waiting to be received by a local Ebon man. He welcomes John and Sarawak, and both of them proceed further to Ebon settlement. After reaching the destination, John meets the governor of Sarawak, who is his boss. He welcomes him. John tells him his father was a district officer, who drawn up a plan to bring education to the Ebon people. Government also approved the plan, but soon he left for war and never returned. Now he want to fulfill his father's desire and educate the Ebons. Officer shows him the place and inform him that he is invited in the local Long House for dinner. Next we see John being taken to Long House. Head of the Long House welcomes him. Then a beautiful girl appears with bowls of rice wine. It was a tradition in Ebon to drink wine. If one rejects the offered wine, it was considered as insult. After drinking a bowl, he sees this beautiful Ebon girl, captivated by her beautiful eyes. After a few drinks, Ebon people welcomes him with a traditional tribal dance, where he gets mesmerized by this Ebon beauty. Rice wine was too hard for him. He throws up and goes to sleep. Next morning he meets the officer again, where he tells him about Ebon's society and their culture. Head man of Long House arrives with the beauty. Officer introduced John to her. He says her name is Salima and she is going to stay with you. She is the girl who understand English and she also performs wively duties. John asks shockingly, which wively duty? He replies she will sleep with you at night. John believed in sex only after marriage. He refused the proposal. But his officer tells him, she is a sleeping dictionary. It is a tradition of Ebon people. They assign a sleeping dictionary to British officials. He further explains, she can teach you local language and stay with you for three years. Otherwise you will be lonely for your whole tenure. And without knowing the language, how can you teach them? John agrees but without the clause of wively duties. At night, Salima starts her job to translate everything for him. She wants to sleep with him but he avoids her. Ebons make fun of him which pissed him off. He shows his anger to Salima and tells her to leave. She leaves him and says not to follow her. Now he stays alone during the night. Next morning he finds her outside. He asks her to return to Long House. But the cook tells him, they will laugh at her. Because you did not sleep with her, they will think she is ugly. John asks her to stay with him, which made her happy again. That night again, Selima does her job. While teaching, both of them gets attracted to each other. While sleeping, Salima asks him if he ever slept with a woman. He replies he won't do it before marriage. She tells him, you will be very bad at sex and your wife will be unhappy. Which made him laugh and think about it. Next morning, we see son of tribe's head, complaining about the English education system. He shows he is smart enough. John says, I heard you are the champion of underwater battle. He challenges him for a match. Both of them goes underwater. He comes out in five minutes but John survives for ten minutes. Then John shows him the oxygen cylinder and tells him in his own way, who is smarter. In the next scene we see John's officer. He invites John for dinner, because his daughter is supposed to be coming from Oxford. At night we see both of them sitting together. John is writing on her body parts, their names in English. Slowly they are getting turned on, while John is touching different parts of her body. They could not control and starts to kiss. The John reaches her breasts and asks what they are called. Next we see them getting intimate in bed. John finishes quickly. Salima says, you teach me English I will teach you this. Now we see them getting intimate on daily basis. John comes home at evening and indulge in love making, getting intimate regularly. Makes John and Salima develop feelings for each other. One night we see her getting out of bed. John asks her, why you go to room every night? She replies, it is a tradition in Ebon. If we wake up five nights in a row together, we will be engaged. She knows he don't want that. Next evening we see John doing dinner in officer's home. His daughter is attracted to John, but she thinks the tradition of sleeping dictionary stopped many years before. John realizes he is missing Salima. 
he comes back and they get intimate again. After that night, we see Cecla taking photographs of Tribe. Salima is jealous of her because she is attracted to John. Next we see Cecla's mother talking to John about her daughter. She wants John to marry her because she likes him. Next day, John goes inside deep forests to collect Ebon people dead bodies who are killed because of an unknown disease. John realizes white men are mining silver in forests secretly and they don't want anyone to know about it. When he comes back, he finds out Salima is sick. Soon the warrior tribe encircles them. John finds out the Englishmen traded poisonous rice with the tribe so that they can clear the area for mining. Warrior tribe attacks the miners after knowing this. The warriors becomes happy with John, and Salima recovers from sickness. John tells her that he want to stay with her forever. Salima tells him, the tribe will stop us from getting married, so we have to run away. John does not believe her and says I will sort it out. John tells his officer that he want to marry her. He becomes angry and threatens him to leave her. Here Longhouse Head orders Salima to marry a tribe member, otherwise John will be in serious trouble. Salima agrees. John goes to meet her again and found her in captivity. She says it is not possible now. I am married to a tribe member. John agrees with officer and marries his daughter Cecla. One year pass, John still misses Salima, but somehow living his life unwillingly. Then they get invited to Cecla's father's home in Salawar. At night Cecla comes to know that John still loves Salima. Next morning John sees Salima on the other side of river with a baby. He asks the cook about the kid. Cook tells him that's your kid, which made John emotional. John meets Salima at night, where she tells him Longhouse Head's son married her, even after knowing she was pregnant. Salima's husband attacks John, for which he was sentenced to death. Here Cecilia undress herself in front of John. She wanted to seduce him and check whether he loves her or not. But every time they make out, Cecilia was not feeling the love which she was supposed to feel with her husband. At night John secretly frees him from captivity and tells him to go away. John tells Salima that he will meet her next morning and they will run away. Cecilia finds out about their plan and confronts John. She tells him to go away because she want a man who love her not the one who is forced to be with her. She tells him it will be proper for both of them to live their life happily without any sacrifice. Here Salima thinks, John is not going to turn up now. She plans to go with her son, alone in a boat. Cecla's father catches her near the boat, where he finds out she is the daughter of a sleeping dictionary, who was assigned to him in the past, whom he loved very much but could not marry because of the British rules. He hugs her and says goodbye. Salima leaves alone without John. Here John starts his journey to find Salima. After many hardships he manages to find her. But soon, officer's wife sends one of his officer to find and kill both of them. He reaches there, attacks both of them and tries to rape Salima. But the warrior tribe kills him on the spot and accept both of them as tribe members. They live together happily and it becomes a happy ending. Support us with likes and shares Comment your views below and subscribe to our channel for more such experiences.